hey, all right, everybody. Now, this video is gonna be about wiring. So it might be a little bit boring. So let's have a quick peek at what I've done first of all. Right, so I've done a lot. Well, I say a lot, it might not be a lot, but it is a lot, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I'll show you what I've done, and then we'll go back in time. We'll go back in time to when I started the wiring because, oh, it's taken a while to do this because I've got a different display and I've got motorcycle uh, switches. There's a lot of wiring. There's loads. Um, so let me spin the camera around this way and I'll show you what's going on so far. And then you can either say, good job or terrible job. <laughs> it's not finished yet, mind. So let me just show you. Right, so I've done a loom. Done a loom, it's gone up to the back here and I've put a connector by there. Now I know you're all shouting at me saying water. Most of the water goes up into, the, into this bit here. I am going to fill this with the dielectric grease. So this is all going to be filled with dielectric grease to try and keep most of the water out of that socket there. And I won't really be riding the bike in pouring rain. I don't tend to ride in the rain. Anyway, so that's that. I wanted to be able to take, if I wanted to fix the lights, I wanted to be able to have a socket by there, not up under there, if that makes any sense. So let me go, that's going through there. I got a big pile of wires in here, look all hanging about, they haven't finished that there. Now, let me just show you what's going on in the front by right here. So I've put the these uh, mirrors on, which I've showed in the last one. They are fantastic. Hello! <laughs> They're really good. I really like their mirrors. Now, some people have them down and some people have them up. Uh, I prefer to have them up. Uh, that's just personal preference, isn't it? Um, so I fitted these switches properly now because uh, motorcycle switches have like a little thing sticking out so you've got to drill a hole in the bar for them to slot into so they're all on a nice and tidy that one's the same in a, a little thing sticking out you've got to drill a hole in the handlebar so that's they're on a nice and tidy the, the th throttle's on there that's on there that's not secure yet but it's there in place right so I've had to run wires to the front of the bike now this is where it's going to get like a, a big bag of spaghetti, but it's not finished, so calm down, right? <laughs> so here's the front. Now, look at that. Hey, hey, oh my God, what's happening? So I've got loads of wires by here, right? Now, first of all, this is just your temporary. I'm going to extend these wires to go and it'll live in there somewhere. So that's just there for testing purposes. A lot of these wires are long, I'm going to shorten them because when you're trying to make a loom, you don't know which goes where and there's nothing worse than cutting them too short. If I cut them too short, you know, it's no good, is it? If you cut them too long, you can cut them short after you've finished. Now, there's a lot of connectors there because I've got loads of wires coming down from that, this, this switch up here. Look, I think there's seven in there. Then you've got this one here, and there's eight in that one. Then this here, this thing here, this this wiring, I, I think that'll add 11 or 12 connectors in it. So that's for the headlight in the front there. Um, this is going into, that's the speed wire, which will go to the display. So there's loads of stuff there. And i got to shorten all these wires now. You might be saying, well, where are you going to put all that, all, that, the, all this? When you scrunch it up, it's not so bad. And when I shorten the wires, it's not so bad. Where am I going to put all that? Well, what I'm going to do now, on motorbikes, they stick them all in the back of the light. Now, you, you might say, you're never going to get it in there. <laughs> and you're right. I will never get in there. That's the headlight, by the way. Right? What I'm going to do, I'll have to get some more of this stuff. I think I have got some of this stuff. I'm going to mask it off and I'm going to cut this hole bigger like that, right? So that, that the back of there is going to be bigger, more space, plenty of space inside there. Look, I can get my hand in there. Woo, woo, <laughs> right? Um, and I'll shorten the wires and all that nonsense will tuck away in the headlight. Um, like I said, I'm going to shorten the wires. So uh, let me put the headlight on. No, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go back in time now. We'll go back in time to when I started this headlight thing. And I want to show about how you do the brake lights and all the other stuff. 
and then I'll come back I'll put the headlight on and I'll show you everything working because see down here down here this is the this connector here is for the DC to DC converter well let me show you that as well uh, I've got I managed to get a smaller one I did buy one but it was too big so I bought this one here which is a it's bigger than the original one but it's not too big and on the back it says in it says input 72 but it can go up to 90 volts it's sort of it can go from different voltages and the output is 12 volts at 10 amps now I've, I've checked all the stuff I got on the bike and 10 amps is plenty so anyway that's that there now uh, I've got this I've got a 12 volt uh, adapter there that's a 12 volt DC adapter and I've put it into the DC side uh, obviously the see on that side there the red and black and the other green that comes from the 72 volt battery and then comes back in here so it goes into the DC DC converter like that like that but there and then it comes back out and uh, the black like I've said before black is the positive green is the negative so I've got 12 volts going in so I'll show you let's go back in time and then I'll show you it all working right okay so this is going to be a boring wiring video but I thought I'd make it because well it's interesting to me but it might be boring to some other people but I've taken this wiring loom apart now this is for the Suron light B X it's for the off-road version and I've stripped it all down now this is a 2024 loom so it might be slightly different the colors might be slightly different to the older loom but black black is the 12 volt positive so black is positive green is negative which is stupid <laughs> but um, black is positive for the 12 volts and then green is negative for 12 volts or 72 or 60 volts or 72 volts you've got if i look at on this wire here you've got a red and a white and a red and a black and if we go over here to the fuse we can see that the red coming in the 72 volt or 60 volt whichever battery you've got coming in this is the main power supply coming in here and it comes from what this cable somewhere where is it to this cable here connects to the battery so it's red and green red is positive on the high voltage and green is negative so green is negative whether it's 12 volt or 72 volt or 60 volt if that makes sense the red 72 or 60 volt comes in goes into the fuse and when it comes out of the fuse it's red and white so the positive 72 or 60 volt feed is red or white over here look red or white and that's the constant live and then the switched live would be the red and the black so red and black would be the switched live which comes from the switch which is where is the switch it's in i think the is that the switch in there no that's the headlight this is the switch here so this is the wire that goes to the switch and you can see there like it's got a red and a white that's the live coming in and then switches for the red and the black going out so the red black is switched live 72 or 62 volts and the red white is permanent live from the battery right so there we go so that being said why have i got it all stripped apart so the first job i gotta do i want to have a rear brake light and indicators and everything at the back of the bike so i've stripped the wires back and this is exposed a green and yellow wire the green and yellow wire is for the brake light uh for the brake cutoff sensor sorry so here's the two brake cutoff sensors there i don't know if you can just about see the green and yellow wires there so they've got a black coming in it'd be hard to see the black but i'll try and show it they got a black coming in and then a green and yellow going out now like i said earlier black is 12 volts positive so we've got a 12 volt positive coming in and then a 12 volt positive coming out when you pull the lever they these two by here 
are joined together and go into one wire. So where this black tape is by here, there's like a little crimp connector. Two become one, okay? So two, them two become one, only a little bit down from there, into one wire. That one wire goes into the controller. It's on one of these connectors here somewhere. It's on one of these somewhere. There's, I know where it is because I've seen it. It's on either one of these connectors, the, the yellow and green. Which one's it on? Let's have a look. Is it on it? There we are. There's the yellow and green there, where my finger is. So it goes from there, it goes into one, goes into the controller, you pull the lever, and it and it, it sends a 12 volt signal to the controller, and the controller stops the power. Right, so I need to cut this wire here, and I put a crimp connector in, and which joins the wire back up, but I also add a secondary wire that will go all the way, end of this loom, extend this loom further on, back to the light. And that's the easiest way to do it. I've seen people, cutting into these wires here you don't need to cut into two if you if you roll back the tape you can cut it you can do it on one wire because it turns two becomes one if that makes sense i've seen people having relays and two wires coming off here and wires going everywhere all you got to do is cut that wire get a crimp connector and then it joins that back up you put a secondary wire i'll show you when i do it a secondary wire a long wire going up towards the back of the bike so that's the one that's one thing I've got to do with this loom. The next thing I've got to do with the loom is to do with the DC DC converter. Now it's only got, I don't know if you can see there, like I said earlier on, the black and red is the switched live 72 or 60 volt, depending on your battery, coming in there. Right? So that's coming in there. It goes into the DC DC converter and it comes out black 12 volt positive. So it goes into the DC DC converter that comes back out. And that's, this is your only one wire here coming out of the DC DC converter. 12 volts positive on a black wire. Okay, it's on a black wire. Why did they put, I know they, that I've read for the main thing, but then they've used black and black is always negative, but it's not anymore, it's positive. <laughs> and the green is the negative. So all the greens, solid greens are negatives. All the blacks are positive. So, I've got to put another wire coming from here uh, and that will run, that will go to the switches in the front for the headlights and stuff. So I'm going to run a secondary wire all along here up to around about here somewhere where the, this is the, so this is the headlight switch here look, or the headlight plug I should say, and it's just a live, a live and a neutral or negative, a live and neutral black live green negative but I want a secondary wire because I need a couple of sources of power so it's best to run a second wire not have it all on one wire so I run a second wire from them up here up to here now I could just bring this back uh, from here because as well because I need also need so I need a secondary 12 volt wire which I'll bring back here and I also need for my display that I've got for the the Suron, the display I got needs a switched 72 volt or 60 volt and it needs a, a permanent 60 or 72 volt and as it happens the this little plug here is for the GPS if you've got a GPS fitted but I've heard the GPS doesn't work in the UK anyway and as it happens the GPS, GPS plug has got a permanent uh, 72 volt supply or 60 volt supply. It's also got a switched 60 or 72 volt supply and it's also got a negative. <laughs> so I'll bring this wire back down around about by here. This is why it's all, got, it's all cut apart. So that saves me some wiring there. The other wiring I've got to do is I need a tail light. So I've got to extend the wires up there for a tail light. And also I've got to add indicators so the indicators comes into play from my secondary uh, 12 volt wire and the, the secondary 12 volt wire will go to the switches in the front on the handlebars and that will all operate the indicators the front daytime running light uh, the high beam and the low beam uh, so there we go so that's why i got it all apart um, that is the dc dc converter this one here i think is this one is for the side stand switch 
and you can see that runs up there and it comes to one of these here somewhere because they've got a we've got a red black um red and white a green and white we've got a red and white there and a black and white which is on there and that purple runs up to one of these by here so it, i've taken it apart and i can see where everything goes but if you are if you do want to if you do want a brake light you don't have to put loads of different things on it all you've got to do for a brake light is just take back the out the chi then i wanted to take this back as well because whoever built this brand new uh wire loom the, the way they tape things is not really good now the red tape is me just putting red tape back on so things stay in the right place so i don't the wiring loom's got to stay in the right sort of orientation i can't move things around because they are, it is in the right place but but i'm going to re re tape all this nice and as tidy as i can anyway so if you do want to do a rear brake light it's quite simple take all this back whatever wire colors are on your switches find where it, where it goes to a single wire cut the wire get a crimp connector a, a crimp connector for a uh, like um oh, i'll put one up on i'll put one up on the screen and then you can join this back together but have a secondary wire going all the way up here all the way to your backlight now this these two here are for the original just single backlight under the seat but i'm having a like i said a brake light a tail light uh you've got to have the number plate light and the indicators so this this is just a quick i know it's boring it's just a, it's just a <laughs> it's just a loom that goes to the original battery if you've got an original battery that goes to the original battery that one there um so a lot of these connectors there's another it's, there's a few videos on youtube of exactly which wires go where so you, you can't get too lost um i think that one there is for the tilt angle sensor uh, a lot of these are to do with the controller i think that one there is the horn there these two that's the horn up here there should be another one here for oh this one here i think that must be for the usb connector so there we go that's what i'm doing with the wiring loom I, once i've made some alterations I'll, I'll come back to you and i'll show the alterations i've made right okay i hope this makes sense now i've used a little crimp in a little crimp here it's like a double crimp by the side i've used my crimping tool or crimping tool there that strips the wire i don't know if you can see here now i've got a wire going all long wire longer than i need just in case i don't know how much i need so i've cut through the wire i've crimped it this side has got the original wire and this yellow red yellow orange i should say for the is it orange yeah yellow orange this is going to be for the rear brake so i've crimped that together there look and then i've crimped it back to the other side so it continues the the, the circuit but i've added a thing into there and i i use i like to use double i'll heat shrink one on then i'll heat shrink one above it i like to use double heat shrink on any connector because just in case it pokes through so i'll heat shrink them onto there and then take this bit back up so that's that bit done so there we go it's as easy as that to do re rear brakes obviously you've got to do a have a negative going to the back as well um but if you're doing it on the rear tip there is a negative here as well like i said so there we go that's that it is as easy as that right okay i've done a bit more wiring since i last looked at this this is all taped up now this is the way i tape it up with the tessa tape where's my tessa tape this kind of tape tessa tape i use tessa tape on it so what have i done i've got um so i've put you can't see it but i put an extra live wire in here and an extra two earths and they're running up here and i've got an extra live wire coming out by here which i've got in black and orange because black is the 12 volt positive so i've got that running up towards the headlight and then when you turn the switch on i've got a return wire by here which goes down the loom and this will end up down let me get this i haven't, I haven't taped it all up yet this will end up down here this is too long at the moment but that brown wire is there the brown wire the black and orange wire is there so that will turn on the rear light i've also got uh 
indicator, wire, left and right, uh, brake light in the yellow and red, and then we got some more earths coming down here this way. So now I haven't cut them off there long because I haven't determined how long they got to be yet till I put it on the bike. So that's that there. And then as you see there, I've got the orange up here as well and extra wires. I got the orange. I got the blue. I got a bit confused then. So the, <laughs> yeah, right. So the red and yellow is going to the, I remember now, is going to the brake light, the red and yellow. Orange and blue, I got them up here as well, orange and blue. That's gonna to go to the indicator switches. And we got some earths as well. And we've got the tail light. So there we go. So it's all tickety-boo. I've got my earths. I got all, all the stuff to go towards the, all of, I got enough wires here now to go towards the switches and the display. And I got enough wire to go towards the tail lights. So it'll be a bit more wiring once I get to the switches. There'll be more wiring. But anyway, so far, that's how it's looking. I've taped it all back up. So it's all I wish should be. If I use an aftermarket battery, this this will be... You won't even use that with an aftermarket battery, I don't think. But anyway, so that's my wiring so far. There we go. It's pretty straightforward. These are too long as well. I've left everything long because I don't know where I've got to cut them and put plugs on. So I, I will be using proper plugs as well. I'll be using proper plugs. I won't be putting silly connectors on. I'll be doing everything crimped properly. Right, okay, so you've got to try and imagine that I'm gonna, there's the ignition down here, right? So imagine I'm gonna turn the ignition on, but what I'm gonna do is plug that. I'm gonna plug that in. But imagine I'm turning the ignition on. Just imagine, use your imagination, right? So when I turn the ignition on, which is putting this plug in the wall here, right? I imagine I've turned the ignition on, the front DRL comes on. So the front DRL comes on as soon as I turn the switch on. As soon as the bike comes on, the front DRL is on and nothing else, just the front DRL. There's no tail light on, nothing, nothing else is on. And when I turn the ignition on, normal comes up there, N-R-M. Okay, can you see that on the dashboard there, norm? So if I turn the light switch here to the first setting, all that does, it puts the tail light on and the front DRL stays on, basically becomes the front side light, if you know what I mean. So that stays on with the tail light. Um, when I put that on, then if I click, <laughs> you know how it works, but I'm just showing it all how it all works. If I click that over to the thing then, we've got the dipped beam and this is lit up on the dashboard here, telling me that I've got the front headlights on. And then if I click this to the main beam or the flash or high beam, now we've got the main beam light on like that. And the main beam up on there, look. See, I don't know if you can see that difference there, look. It's a bit higher on the top there. And when I pull this, this thing here, look, the flash, whatever you call it, the whatever, when I pull out, that, that flicks on there and it lights up on there like that as well. Um, so let's turn off the headlights. And then if I do indicators, there we go. Flash on this side. That's going on that side there. And this one is going on there. And if I do the other side, look, that's going on that side over there now. This one's going over here, and that one is going down there. So everything's tickety-boo. If I cancel that and I press the hazards like that, you can see, look, they both go in and they all go in. They all go in, look, see? They all go in, and the back ones go in, both sides. Here we go. So let's turn them off. And if I pull the brake lever like so, I don't know if you can see that. Look, in a, look if I go like under the mirror. Can you see that there? So I'll turn around. There we go. Brake light working on that lever. And then there's this lever over here. I'll pull that one. Brake light working on that one as well. And also 
horn. Oh, it's loud, that's loud. So everything's working. Oh, and the, what's this called on a normal motorbike? The cutoff thing. I'm using that for, when I look, watch on the screen by there, look, see what it says, norm. If I press this button, if I get it all in, it switches over to sport. Normal, sport. Now I know on Surons it says eco and sport, but it's gonna be normal and sport. So normal and sport is on that switch. Then this switch is nothing, because I don't need a starter, do I? <laughs> so I don't know if I can utilize that switch later on for something, but um, I, I, it's wired up, it, the, the, the socket's there, so I could change it. So there we go. That's as far as I've got so far. So what do you think about that then? So that's as far as I've got with the old, um, the lightning's terrible new. This lighting makes me look older. Well, that's my excuse anyway. <laughs> because it's lightning from, from above, so it's making me look more, it, it does. Lightning from above is not very flattering. Um, so I'll hold the camera further away. <laughs> Um, so there you go. So that's as far as I've got so far. Is there anything else I've done? Um, I've showed you most of the things, haven't I? I've showed you everything else. I don't think I've done everything else. I've put I put stickers on the side of there. Top, top zero. <laughs> um, shall I call this a top zero instead of a Suron? Because it's got a top motor, top controller, and the battery won't be Suron either. The wheels won't be Suron, the forks. I don't know. Do I still call it a Suron because of the frame? Maybe. Um, I've showed you that's in here, haven't I? So I, that, that's as far as I am so far. That's on the back of there. Um, this axle here, um, when you put this on, the normal axle isn't long enough. So I've had to order a longer axle. You've got to order a slightly longer axle when you put this on because obviously it makes it wider, if you know what I mean. So that's as far as I've got so far. I've still got to sort out all this make this smaller, put, make this to go in there, and then cut the back off there, so all that junk can go in the back of this headlight. Uh, yeah, so that's as far as I got so far. There is some more stuff coming. So anyway, so that's as far as I've got. So if you did like this video, and if you like the wiring, <laughs> which can be boring for some people, um, give it a like, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Hi. <laughs>